Why, hello YouTube. Um, I decided to, I guess, voice record because there's a couple new exercises that I had never done before that my friend Erica showed me. So I'm not doing it completely right, but I also videotaped her and then watched her. I think this was my first set. So you stand a little far back and you hold, I'm holding my right arm static and pulling with my left um, so I can fill my lat. And here Erica is actually doing it right. She's a freaking beast. Um, I really like this exercise. It was really different. I had to make sure that I used my lat more than my biceps. And then this one was another one that I tried. I look uncoordinated, but it was a good workout. So you kind of lean back, and it's um, you pull back using, of course, your back. Try not to use your arms, but it was fun. Another exercise we did was pull downs and this was really hard um, so of course you hold static with one and you do the exercise with the other and I, I got tired on that one and then you can immediately go back up and then do the other arm uh, it definitely was burning so I'm gonna incorporate these exercises a lot um, I was trying not to go up all the way so I could still keep resistance and then we got a back view as well. I used to hate doing back, but I really love it. Um, I definitely love the results of back exercises as well. Um, here's my friend Erica doing the workout. She's a beast. She's doing 45s and a 25 on each side. Um, I can only do 45s. It was funny because Derek did this as well and he wanted to make sure that he was lifting more than her, so <laughs> we tricked him into doing a lot more weight. Um, I think I actually did a hundred, this is 120 pounds. Derek and Erica say that I second guess myself too much. I don't give myself enough credit, so I try to do as much weight as I could. Her upper body looks great. Um, and we actually did the exercises that you saw in a tri set. She doesn't like to do one exercise and complete it. She likes to do all three of them at one time find the right lighting in my kitchen but I can't seem to find it oh well um, I think I'm gonna make my oat cake or maybe my cookies I'm not really sure um, but I did do back yesterday with this girl Erica that I'll be meeting with she had great information for me some great workouts and she definitely pushed me and motivated me a lot I don't know about you but I sometimes get discouraged and or don't think I can lift to my full potential so I'm really excited to see what I can do for legs today um, but she gave me some new PRs on some of my back exercises and because I also don't want to seem like a weenie when I work out and I want to try and push myself as hard as I can when I'm with anybody um, so we'll see how today goes I'm really excited but we'll see what I'll be cooking for breakfast and just FYI all of the dishes that were behind me are clean uh, my sister and her boyfriend are here for about a week and he made the best Italian dinner for everybody um, I believe his spaghetti sauce it took him six hours to make um, so he had really huge pots and pans um, nobody drank any wine at all <laughs> just kidding but yeah so it was delicious to start my pancakes I've been kind of lollygagging and looking on the computer and stuff like that but here we go um, I'm gonna use pumpkin puree egg whites rolled oats here's my coffee grinder that I'm gonna use for my rolled oats and I think I'm gonna use one third cup of oats uh, because pumpkin has 10 carbs for half a cup so I'm, I think I'm gonna see how much I have of that and then calculate. Okay, I have my ground oats, then I'm gonna add my 200 grams of egg whites. That's 908. So I'm gonna try to get to 708.
dang it, 7.38, 7.03, I'd say that's good enough. I usually also add baking powder, but I can't find it at the moment. I have my peanut butter, my almonds, organic dressing, clear cool because I was sick. Maybe I'll add chocolate. No. I don't know where it is. You see it, let me know. Also add stevia. I buy this really big stevia bag. Um, it is 9.7 ounces. And it lasts me, I want to say it lasts me a month. Um, I use stevia in, I, to sweeten my yogurt, um, my Greek yogurt. I use it to bake and I use it for my delicious coffee. And my coffee's almost done. I think I've been awake for about an hour already. It's 8.40 and I still haven't had coffee. Um, so, and I also, just to make it easy, I put my stevia in this little container with my little tablespoon. So I can always measure how much stevia I apply to all my food. Music to my ears. Coffee's ready. <coughs> uh, I'm going to add probably about one, maybe two. And a half, one and a half. Because I think I'm going to sweeten my pancakes with um, sugar free, maybe regular syrup. Or sugar, I don't know which one we have. Um, syrup, and then I'm going to put a little bit of peanut butter. Derek used to have his waffles with peanut butter and syrup, and I thought it was disgusting. But now I'm addicted to it. Because I'm addicted to peanut butter. I think that's it. I taste it. Oh, and cinnamon. Okay, so I have the oven going, and I'm sorry, the oven, the stove, and I'm about to make my pancake now. Instead of just pouring into the pan, I'm gonna actually scoop it with the one third scooper. I always make a really big mess. So pour in. And I usually let the pancake sit for a couple minutes. Um, it it kind of makes the same bubbles as normal pancakes or the little holes. Um, or it kind of already starts to, to mold into a solid so then I flip it and then that's it. But that's really it. It's really easy. It takes a couple minutes depending on who I'm cooking for. Um, I usually just cook for myself. Uh, Derek doesn't really like my healthy pancake. Okay, so this is what it looks like when I'm going to flip it. And, I mean, I guess you can see that it kind of is gathering together. There's a couple bubbles. See one right there? Maybe the one. Alright, so I will be... Oh. Okay, so that's a little burnt, but that's okay, because they're still delicious. So yeah, I don't really use recipes all that much. Um, when I do, I I usually follow them to the T, but when it comes to my own baking and what I want to make or what I feel like eating, I just kind of throw random shit in a bowl and hope for the best. It usually comes out okay. Derek is the one that's usually against um, the healthy stuff that I make, but... I'm not making it for him, I'm making it for me.
a couple more. Got it. Breathe. One. 